pepperoni scramboli, and tofu with Key West sauce. Yo, what is going on everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's Tyler the Body Moving Foodie here. Now, as you can see, I'm not in my room. So originally today, I was gonna show you guys some traditional Middle Eastern food. However, the place is closed on Saturday. So now, I'm trying to think where else I'm gonna eat. But yeah, I'll get back to you in five seconds. Of course, before we actually get to the Middle Eastern food, we're trying another bun. Which one should I get this time? We went with this guy. All right, this is a baked wheat cake with a sweet mashed red bean paste. There's a calorie right there. 19 grams of sugar, why I didn't look at this, but of course it is a cheat day. Okay, this one's not quite as soft as the others. Put a hole in this, but yeah, let's take a bite. Oh man, so there's a red bean filling in the middle. This is really good. <laughs> it's not fluffy like spongy bread like the others, but hey, you can't deny that red bean filling. All right, on to the actual food. All right, we're winging it, folks, but uh, we're here at Lilai Walk. So this is a random Chinese place. I've heard there's really good reviews here. However, I haven't eaten here myself. Let's check it out. So here we got the menu. As I wait for my food, I'm gonna let me try as a uh, beef tripe. So this is cow stomach. Quick little appetizer. So it's not bad. It's just super chewy. It's just like tendon. This was seven bucks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We got eight pieces of meat. So what this is, this is um Empress chicken. Which, when I asked the guy, I was like, oh, so what's up for his chicken? And he's like, oh, it's kind of like sweet and sour chicken. I'm like, what's the difference? He's like, it's sweet and spicy. I mean, no, he's like, it's sweet and salty. But, uh, anyways, I mean, it looks all right. It, it looks like, it definitely looks like sweet and sour chicken. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed by the portion side. Enough, enough complaining. Let's just get into it. I fat serving the rice, so that's good. So let me first get a taste of the sauce. It's weird. It, I honestly didn't taste much. Jeez. Oh, how slippery this thing is. There you go. So here is the Empress chicken. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what I thought. It's basically like sweet and sour chicken with soy sauce added to the sweet sour sauce. Uh, it's all right, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just kinda insulted by the portion size. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking messed up. <laughs> Definitely gonna go to another place. I'm not trying to spend a ton of money though, to be honest. It's funny that I'm already thinking about the next place before I even finish this. <laughs> Alright, so we got a big chunk here. This actually looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much it's just like sweet and sour chicken with a thicker breading. Because you know how orange chicken is like more of like a lighter breading. This is more like thick as you can see there. For this, I think the cravings are just... Ugh. Yeah, like honestly, this is... It's not bad or anything. Um, I just wish they gave me more. <laughs> I think a large size is equivalent to Craven's regular size, but it's like twice the price. Really thick breading though. You can see there. Dip some sauce in there. Good a good bite in this bowl. There we go. Finish that. <laughs> Nowhere near full, however, you know it doesn't end here. Alright, so. Second spot I'm hitting is Team Oji. Got the bowl of tea. But 
But I know you guys don't want to see this. You guys want to see real food. So let's get to it. But you guys are gonna be in for a surprise. <laughs> we're eating the dining hall. With what we're working with today. None of that. Ooh, grilled peri peri shrimp. What we got here? Broccoli and beef. No. Tofu. Try some of this. Then a salmon slider. Don't know what this is, but uh, we're going for it. All right. This meal number two. You know guys, sometimes you're just not craving cheat food on a cheat day. And that is totally fine. So, what I have here today is grilled peri peri shrimp salmon slider, which I'm actually really excited to try this. And tofu, key, shit. And tofu with Key West sauce. I don't know what this is, but let's get into it. Really good tofu. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get more of this. Let's try that peri peri shrimp. We made the right call, guys. I was gonna go. I was gonna get McDonald's before this, and then I'm like, nah, let's just try the dining hall food. And I'm honestly super glad I came. We also got some cranberry juice. So we're cheating a little bit. Definitely getting my protein in today. Let's try this salmon slider. Now, by the name, it sounds like I'm supposed to eat this with bread or something, but I couldn't find any rolls up there, so I don't know. But yeah, that is a thick piece of salmon. <clears throat> yeah, not my favorite. This tofu, though. This tofu actually like is bomb. Don't sleep on tofu, guys. Look at this pescatarian sheet food meal. Yeah, so I couldn't find anything to pair with this salmon slider. Like, there's no bread or anything. But instead, I did pick up some more tofu and a pepperoni scramboli with side of marinara sauce. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have access to a dining hall, eat as much shrimp as you can. Like, like maximize your meal plan, you know? You're like, you're paying good money for it, might as well get some value out of it, right? This sauce they have on it, it's, it's, it reminds me of sweet tamarind sauce, which is something they put in pot thai. And it comes from the tamarind fruit. I, I'll pop a picture of it on top, but it's like really sweet, tangy, slightly tangy, but then there's also like onions on it. So funny that I'm having a cheat meal in the dining hall. Pepperoni. All right, let's try this. Pepperoni scramboli. Dip that. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. I can definitely tell the food was laying out for a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's all right. If this was fresh. Oh yeah, it would be like amazing, but yeah, it's been sitting out there for more than a few hours. It's kind of like that cold pizza taste. Honestly, thinking about it, having a cheat day at a dining hall can be pretty dangerous. Just because you essentially have an unlimited amount of food. And yeah, I guess I left out that the food was actually not the worst for me today. But like, if they had like chicken wings, I'd eat like a whole tray and next thing you know, I'd be like 10,000 calories in. Look at all that sauce. Oh, found bite. And of course, how can we not end a dining hall feast without some dining hall desserts? Now, I got this thick brownie with, I, I wanna say it's caramel on top, I don't really know. And then this little wedge of this German pound cake. I'm probably not gonna be able to find the calories on this, but I always call it like a pound cake. And this, I don't really know. I mean, this is where it can get really dangerous because I can just easily eat like 20 of these. But without further ado, take a bite of this one. It's 
lemon cake, so. Yeah, not a fan of lemon cake. Let's try this brownie out. Oh. Oh, this isn't a brownie. This, so there's a sign that said German chocolate cake, and I thought this was a brownie, but no, this is actually the German chocolate cake. Cool. Well, let's give it a whirl. That was good. Honestly, I wish it was a brownie, but this is still really, really good. Alright, so I decided on eating here, Spoon House. Once again, I'm gonna try probably a different kind of burrito, maybe something else. We'll see. Alright, guys, so today I went with the beef bulgogi dupop. Now, what, what a dupop actually is, is it's supposed to be kind of like a Korean poke bowl or a Korean sushi bowl. However, here, Instead of putting fish in it, we got some beef bulgogi. Of course, also, we got seaweed, as you can see, fried egg with sesame seeds, and then rice on the bottom, which I assume it might be like sushi rice. I'll show you a little bit later when I try it, but yeah, guys, I'm excited for this. Just a little nice touch is the free kimchi daikon radish at Spoon House. Mm. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have not come to Spoon House, you definitely need to, because there's some great stuff here. Super light and refreshing. All right, let's get into this bowl. Watch me crack this gill. Oh yeah. Don't you just love that? Let's mix all this together real quick. Look at that. This bowl makes it like, honestly, this bowl makes the food taste better, if that makes any sense. But I don't know, there's something cool about it. The seaweed is so good. Now we're rocking. The ball band there. Now, I used to hate pickled ginger, but honestly, over the years, it really grew on me. Get you guys a bite with everything. So we got beef bulgogi, egg, some more beef bulgogi, and some sushi rice with seaweed flakes. The funny thing is, I almost got another like burrito. Like, I was about to go with the burrito. But then I just saw this on the menu. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. So I asked the wait, I asked the person on the counter about it. She's like, oh, it's more popular. So I'm like, ah, oh, might as well give it a try. And boy, am I glad I did. This is so good, guys. If you haven't gone to Spoon House, you need to come here. Oh, it's gonna be a great bite. Yeah, I can imagine this with like fish. Be amazing is that the seaweed really adds like this good umami savoriness to the you know general a little bit sweet beef bulgogi making quick work of this bowl Ooh. oh guys hear the music in the background sounds uh familiar <laughs> If you guys haven't, if you guys didn't know, um, back in the day on my YouTube channel, I used to upload song covers. I only did a few, but yeah, this was this is one of the songs I actually did. That's so coincidental. It's actually so funny. <laughs> That's crazy. My friends are here right now. Oh man, I'll be insane. I actually love this song. I haven't heard it in a while too. Bam. Well, that was amazing. Like, literally that was amazing. All right, we're gonna be doing some panda. Can't believe I'm getting more food. 
All right, so final stop of the night. We're at Panda Express, and I went with some orange chicken and mixed veggie. So I kind of I needed to find a way to get my greens in, and I think this is a great way to do it. I think this is the first this is the first cheat day where I exceeded 4,000 calories. So new milestone over here. And I did it eating kale. Crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Kale and orange chicken. <laughs> now these greens, they changed it. It used to be like carrots, broccoli, and cabbage or lettuce. But now it's like they got rid of the carrot and they added kale. So orange chicken never gets old though. Got these broccoli, these veggies are super heavy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. Look at this paradox in between two chopsticks. I think I'm gonna leave some more chicken on the plate. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm definitely, I don't think I'm eating for the whole day tomorrow, but. That said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.